that Ellen has always said that she has no idea why you ended it with her. Can you answer that question oh, once shit. and for all? Oh, what? Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry. Can you? Are can, there? Do I have allergy? Okay, fine. Let's let let our viewers know. Well, Why? first of all, I've written a book about some of the truths, and the second one will be coming out shortly. Um, the fact of the matter is, if anybody chooses to look at the truth, the signs and the uh, the reasons of uh, their arrival are apparent in every single thing. The problem is people went along with the point of view, unfortunately, that abided something that was a lie. We are responsible for seeking the truth. We are responsible for our own point of view. We aren't told often that ours matters enough to question ourselves enough. I just did a movie about this very thing and it was one of my delightful pleasures in my life that I got to act this role because The Vanished was a movie that was two movies at the same time. And why I found that to be so significant in my artistry was to be able to show what it looks like to be told the same story, but because of point of view, we miss the truth and the facts. That's the story of my life. And I have been dealing with that and on trying to understand that, comprehend that, which took my intelligence to come into why we would ever try to bury somebody who spoke about love. Why we do that, what love is, what it means, why we are interested in, in quieting a force that means more to us, that I call love, and it is the study and has been of my last 20 years because of how I was buried and not understanding why we want to do that. Why would we bury others? I think it's the beginning of a question that had not been asked to me and has not been asked until this moment. Timing is everything and and all I am here to do is is embrace the fact that it's time to tell the truth. So why did you break up with Ellen? Well, I think you know the answer to that question. I think we could b probably whittle it down to one thing. If we live in loving kindness, and that is my destination and my dream for us all, I would say that was not her goal. But that was her banner, which she led with. Listen, when you want to steal somebody else's language, the problem is you hit a wall. Because the language is enough to drive you forth. Its purposing was enough to give her power. And the reality is, if you are not on a conscious conversation and communication with the universe and its truth, you hit a wall because you can only get furthered if your intelligence and your heart meet. And unfortunately, that she did not greet. So after the sad loss of Ayn Hesh, her ex-girlfriend, Ellen DeGeneres, will not be attending Ayn Hesh's funeral, an insider divulge. Actually, Anne's funeral will be this week and Ellen will not be invited. It's just close family of friends and it will be a small and private function. A source told the press, according to the so many reports that are still coming in, the actress who died on Friday, August 12th, after she had landed in a coma from a car accident, has been fondly remembered by so many people on social media. But it's not only the so many people on social media who are sending in messages of condolences but also high excess including Ellen. Uh, the comedian said in a very heartbreaking and emotional statement via her official Twitter and Instagram that this is a sad day and according to her Twitter she further said that Hesh has been a very good person and she was sending in messages of condolences and prayers to Ains family children and all the friends and all those who really loved Ain. so according to ellen said ellen actually said that there is a need of to say something and after the passing on of Ain, she said they hadn't spoken in years but given what their relationship meant to so many people around the world she understands why she had to speak out according to the so many reports that are still coming in Hesh's husband mr coleman Coley lafon also came out on instagram and shared a very heartbreaking and emotional video where he said 
uh, that I love her and I miss her. I'm always going to be the best person who she really loved. Mr. Kuli father said he was grieving and of course it has been a rough, rough ride and probably anybody can really imagine what he is going through. But he's surrounded by family and he's strong and he's gonna be okay after some time. So today we are uh, still mourning after the after losing such a bright figure, a kind person, a most joyful soul, a loving mother, and a loyal friend. And in this moment in time, all we are saying is, let us continue sending in messages of condolences to the family, friends, and everyone who really loved and adored Ain Hesh. She was really a very kind person, a very loving person, a very joyous person. You can really hear her. Uh, her energy, her enthusiasm, and all the love she really shared with the world. All we are saying in this moment in time is continue resting in power the queen, Ain Hesh.